Hello, I'm Stephen May and I'm playing Sky. I'm Sarah Morrison and I'm playing Sophie. Mama mia, now I really know my mind. I should not have let you go. I think it's um, exciting, scary and like nerve-wracking. Like I'm so used to stand on seven, do this, do that, say that. And here it's like a rehearsal process plus a workshop and something. So it's great that we get to reimagine it, but it's also very like, okay, I thought I'd set that today and then, and then tomorrow it's something different. But that is, I think that's exciting because it is ours and it will be my body and it won't be just like I'm told to do something, you know? I've been surprised because I kind of anticipated it might be like that because yeah. coming from originating Lisa Miles and Ladies in Black, that, that was everything I did was sort of, yeah. Uh, my intention and, and I created I suppose and I kind of thought coming into this sort of um, uh, legacy of Mamma Mia if you will that it would be a bit like that but it's actually been really really similar to my experience on Lady, Ladies in Black because right. we've sort of we, we really have had it's really up to us what we've been doing yeah like Gary's been sort of saying okay let's read through it mm. let's have a go at this so how do you feel? And you're like, what? How do I feel? I feel great. Um, but can, can we try something else? And you sort of, you know, instantly, I think, instinctively, you go try something and go, don't do that. <laughs> or <laughs> actually, that kind of works. Let's see if we can roll with that. I've been su pleasantly surprised at how much time we've had on the floor with him. Literally kind of like, okay, go. Uh, in, the, in the most beautiful way that we've got the chance and the time to fail and make mistakes and go, oh, no, that doesn't work. Or, yeah. Oh my god, that felt so good. Let's do that again. We've done it all before, and now we're back to get some more. Uh, oh. Honestly, like it's not hard to, like, I'm not really like having to fall in love with you, like, in a pretend way. Like it just becomes really natural, I think, because we do know each other. Yeah. Um, and like even just sitting up on the set yesterday, having time to find out things that I don't know about Sarah. Like we have moments where I'm like, Jesus, like, of course, like, of course you think that, or like, I don't know. I think the beauty of of knowing each other opens that door very quickly. Steven's a dream to work with. I think because this is my first romantic role. So yeah, it is, I was absolutely a bit like, oh my God, you gotta do that and be believable. And I think on kind of like a scale of being prescriptive about something, like let's kiss here or that, to the other end being just like, just go for it, see what happens. Whatever end of the spectrum we're on, I feel so confident and safe. It's just, I don't know, he makes it easy. It happened in the audition. And Sarah came in the room, we did it together. Like, this emotion came out of me in one of the scenes, and it, like, I went, if it's gonna happen, this will be the, be the pairing. I didn't know how we would react together, because we do know each other kind of like brother, sister, like we call each other sa and ma. Ma, yeah. Like, and so it's sort of like, we're so, you know, that's kind of well, brotherly, sisterly well, love. Well, I said when we were downstairs, I was like, just kiss me now, because I didn't want to do it in front of him for the first time. Yeah. Because I have known him for that long. Yeah, but it's, so easy. I don't uh, know, it's, it's just so easy. Yeah, it's great. Mm. And it, yeah, thank God. <laughs> I was by you, and I you know uh, it's really hard. Um, I'm not gonna lie, like there's breaking that sort of wall of music theatre um, sort of stigma about you is, is hard. Like um, it comes down to availability as well. People go, Oh you're in a musical. You won't be available for a TV shoot, you won't be available for a TV scene and training. Like it's fine to get on stage and act, and you think, yeah, I'm an actor, I can do that. And then you get on screen, and you are the biggest, <laughs> loudest person. And being six foot three, you start to bring everything down. And um, I've, I think I've just learned, go and like, do Les Chandry's um, four-week course. Like, that was one thing that I did, and it was, like, I want to do it again. Do you think investing in that kind of training is an ongoing investment? Mm. That was the first thing I did when I finished uni because we, in our musical theatre course at the time we didn't get any film and screen. Mm. Um, so that was the first thing I started investing in. Was, it is just a different uh, technique and a different sort of skill set. We can always come to stage and I feel a bit safer. So I'm nervous as all hell, but getting on film and doing a casting, you just have to. It's a different. You just have to learn it again. Like you retrain that muscle and keep doing it. A couple of years ago, someone just said to me, "Can you just be you? Because that's what I want." And I was like. I thought I was. They're like, no, you're not. And that was learning about me as a as a man, becoming, growing into yourself, and just finding out like your truth, finding out that you can be enough, and being yourself is enough. 
I've done, but you know, you're enough. But like, it no, really, but people try and go, I've got to act, or I've got to do this, and that, especially on camera, comes across. It comes across on stage too. When you're just like trying to be someone, you're like, oh my god, all I'm seeing is acting. If someone just goes, hey, oh great, I've got eye connection, and I'm talking to someone, I'm having an, an actual conversation, because that's all it is. The, the scenes are just conversations, really, yeah. between two people, sometimes a group. Well, we uh, lessons 101 with Ma. Sa and Ma. Mama Mia. Now I really know my life. I'll come and see Mama Mia. I'll do that again. <laughs> come, come and see, see Mama, Mama Mia. Mia. Come and see Mama Mia. We are the best. No, we're not. Please come and no. see Mama Mia. We'd love us love to see you. Please I can't sing talk. along and have fun. Yeah, come to stage door come and get to an party. autograph. Yes. Come for a party. Come for the icing on the cake. Come for a wedding. Um, come for love. Come for family. Come for generosity. Come for Abba. Come for Matt Edwards from Aussie Theatre. Because we love him. <laughs>